A Cart Full of Magic by Alina Abrev. So it is divided into four parts, like with the chapters in them. And Reflections is in the closing. So part one is From Everyday Products to Magical Items. So there's an introduction of sorts. So part two, Food, Drink, and... Yeah, so food, drink, and some other stuff. You got, like, fruits, veggie... No. Fruits, veggie, bread. Uh, and you got other stuff included there as well. Part three is household hygiene, beauty, and other things like flowers, oils, and so on. Part four is enhancing magical work, like color and magic, outside influences, and other topics. So, and like she states that like not everything has like a magical meaning, but the essence of the product and how things are produces that meaning that we put on to things so when it gets into like the description of the f stuff like the food and the other products in part two and three you got things you got the, like the food the color depending on what it is more in the part two you got keywords again more in part two some information, like, it's like quick and or something to do with that product. Like, she'll give an, the information. It's not all stiff information, but it's information that you could, a small amount of information that you could use and something possible that you could do with it. So, and it goes into this is pretty much the same setup goes in is in part two and three and there are some products that will say see blank and it will say a previous or another or forecoming item that is like related or more broad to that topic that item It's not totally in like information based and yeah, you got like the quick information for like the colors, you got like moon phases, days of the weeks, and yeah, so. It's not like other books that are, are like related to meanings about say food products like the Scott Cunningham book or a few other books along that line. It but it is a book that you can look into if you if you do like books along that line of having those keywords or information relating to food and other household products and other products that you use either to consume with or use like essential oils to fruits and veggies. So like a pro to this bu book is like a few books don't go into like household items like cleaners and oils and <coughs> beauty products. The focus is on like the food portion. But this goes into th not in depth, but it does talk about like here's the food, food, drink and more stuff. But in this section, 
you got the household products that you would also get at a grocery store or another like department store where you could get both. So it, it, it is interesting if you are a type of person that brings in that that brings in or wants to bring in magical meaning whether it is through like food or every day or like on that once special occasion though for that one special occasion this book might not be for you but it's just more for the people that want the everyday kind of thing while using these products so it is like to me i found it like like life changing but it, it is worth something to have a look into if you are that type of person who wants that so a card full of magic by alina abrev happy readings